What's up, Buttercup? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's book review, with no spoilers, I might add, because you should totally read it, is Butcher and Blackbird. This was a four out of five star read. Brian, Patrick, and I read it for the Messed Up Book Club, and it's a dark romance comedy, which we love to see a mix of genres. Now, we follow Sloan and Rowan. They are two serial killers that kill other serial killers, and they meet by happenstance, and then for most of the book, they're in a sort of game that happens yearly where they are placed somewhere in the United States and they have to find the serial killer within that area. And of course, they fall in love because it's a romance. And it is a real romance because it has a happily ever after. That is not a spoiler, it's what it is. Now, I really love the cover. I was attracted to the cover when I saw it on Goodreads a long time ago. It's not even that long time ago. It's something. <laughs> when did I add it to my TBR? I don't know. I've been holding on for quite some time, but it was scheduled to be read for the Messed Up Book Club in July, and we jumped on it, and we all enjoyed it. It was one of the few this year where we all agreed that it was either a four or five star read. Now, I gave it four stars because there are two scenes that are pretty significant where it's a little coincidental, a little unbelievable. <laughs> we just pass right over that without a lot of explanation and I am confused, a little concerned. <laughs> I'm not gonna say which, which two scenes because this is a no spoiler review, but I spoke to Brian and Patrick about it and they were like, yeah, I can see that, but I guess I'm just a little more specific and picky because I didn't give it five stars. <laughs> and also there, was a lot of repetitiveness with specifically laughing and smiling at each other. And you would say, Nicole, why is that a problem? Where it's on almost every single page. <laughs> Not when it's the very serious types, but even sometimes they will grin at each other when there's a serious situation and they kind of shouldn't be. There's a lot of overuse of grinning and laughing. You can replace that with other things <laughs> to show that they care about each other or that they're amused with one another, you know, that's just a nitpick. But it's in every single chapter on many, many pages. <laughs> and I started to notice it by chapter four and it just kept going, just kept going y'all. Which, after a certain point for me, I'm like, maybe hug. We've got to do something else that shows affection <laughs> other than laughing and smiling at each other. I don't know. That's just me. I might be in the minority. I'm going to put this down because my arm hurts. <laughs> it's not even a thick book. But <laughs> we really finished this book quickly. Brian started a day early and he read about 150 pages ahead and we were like oh okay Brian we see how that's going for you we're so happy that you enjoyed it and you started a day early we have a new addition to the messed up book club and sorry she jumped in later and I think she enjoyed it I have to double check I'm so sorry sorry that's fine we all enjoyed it we are really interested in reading the second and third book. Now, I really was attracted to this story for the Messed Up Book Club, not just because of the cover, like I said, gorgeous, but it's really interesting seeing new things. And this is very new to me, at least, and to everyone else in the book club. <laughs> because usually when you have like 
uh, serial killers that love each other or it's like a serial killer that falls in love with a victim and it's dark romance. It's not funny or sarcastic but this is funny and sarcastic and I think it really works because there are just some things where it's either going to be extremely serious or you make fun of the situation and that happens a lot when they're dealing with the serial killer. There are some moments that it's serious, okay? But for the most part, it's funny. And I think, <laughs> I'm trying not to spoil because it says no spoilers. So I want you to read it. I think one of the best <laughs> scenes is somewhat in the beginning. Maybe it's like halfway. Where they go, pretty sure it's California. Or at least the West Coast. They go to the west coast and there's a really fancy serial killer and <laughs> they're served food but is it really food <laughs> i could spoil that for you or you could just read the long laundry list of trigger warnings in the front of the book oh yeah did i mention it's like two pages of trigger warnings but it's also portrayed in a funny light like you read the summary and it says outright these are two serial killers that are killing other serial killers and they love doing that and they then get together and hunt people basically they're bad people but they're hunting <laughs> and then torturing and then killing them they're not great but you you love them anyway <laughs> I mean hypothetically <laughs> I'm sure some people read this and like this is trash of course but overall you learn to love Sloan and Rowan and also their friends and Rowan's brothers though you know I can see where, I think with Finn, because it's Rowan, Finn, and Lachlan. Finn is going to be the third book, and I can see I might be annoyed with Finn. Lachlan is at least funny. Finn's a little too serious anyway, though. Anyway, I'm just going to read final trigger warning in the list. It's a book about serial killers, so there's some generally messed up murder and chaos yeah that's about it okay and then the i think it's like a dedication not really dedication but it's its own page right here it's its own page i'm quoting here for those of you who read the trigger warnings and said accidental cannibalism count me in this one's for you it's for me and the messed up book club <laughs> Look, we've read so much splatterpunk and body horror and all that other stuff. We just needed to mix it up with dark romance comedy and it delivered. Also, if you're interested, I'm, I don't like Spotify, but there's a Spotify playlist also in the front of this particular novel and I'm sure it's going to be for the other two as well. I just overall enjoyed this book with some caveats like I said but you know what I'm a nitpicker at times I know that about myself but we are definitely going to read the other two books and I'm thinking hoping that we can find other books kind of similar to this I know it there's a like a Dexter vibe but Dexter was serious, right? And it's good as it is, right? I really enjoyed Dexter when I watched it, but this is funny. <laughs> so it's a mix. It's a new mix of genres and subgenres within the romance category, and we love to see it. We love to see new things popping up. So thank you for watching my book review on Butcher and Blackbird. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and don't be eaten and don't kill anyone. Okay? Thank you. Bye.